Hey what's up everybody, Artemis Coder here. In today's Python video, I'm going to show you how I made a simple zip unlocker and talk about Python brute force hacking. A brute force attack consists of an attacker submitting many passwords with the hope of guessing a combination correctly. The attacker checks all possible passwords until the correct one is found. The zip locker is a good example for brute force hacking as what it will do is search for a list of passwords from a file and keep searching until a password matches with the zip file. This will only happen if the password is from the list. Also, I am a beginner in Python, so please like, share and subscribe the video. Let's start the video. So here I am in my Windows File Explorer. As you can see, I have a text document named Web2017 Top 10,000. This file contains the world's most common passwords used by people. You can easily get this from Google. Also to unlock the zip file, the password must be from the list. You can add more passwords to the list if you wish. But for now, I have 10,000 passwords in this file. Now let me show you the lock zip file. As you can see, you need to enter a password to unlock this zip file. Now let's go to my editor and check out the Python code. The locked zip is the name of the zip file, which will link the zip file to the code. I've also added the common password list on the first line, which has the passwords. Now hopefully, when I run the script, it should crack the zip and give us the password from the world's most common password list. Let's try. Error shows us that Python has checked if the password matches with the zip, but if it doesn't, it will move on to the next password. So now we just wait. Since this will take time, I'll meet you guys when this is done scanning. So as you can see here, we have found the password and it is login. We can also see that the zip contains a picture.jpg. So now let's try this password in our zip file. I will first enter a wrong password. As you can see, it doesn't open. Now let's try the password login from the Python script. As you can see, the password was correct and we have opened this zip file. This is a really interesting aspect of Python and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around and please like, share and subscribe the video. Also turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon so you don't miss a future video. I'll be also providing a GitHub link if anybody wants it.